Here's another story about Arthur Gook, a servant of the Lord who labored in Iceland. In Matthew 19 and verse 26, we read, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Uh, during the First World War, in the winter of 1917-1918, the German U-boats had wrought havoc in the North Sea, in the region between Britain and Iceland, and Iceland was really suffering. They had no coal. And Arthur Gook's wife began to pray with some of the other women that God would provide them with coal. And Arthur Gook had no idea how God was going to answer this prayer. And one evening, January of 1918, the phone rang, and it was the French consul from Reykjavik, which is the capital. Reykjavik is on the southwest shore of Iceland. The Gooks lived in Akureyri, which is up on the north shore. And the consul said that a French ship had arrived coming from Cardiff, Wales, and it, it had five tons of coal for Arthur Gook, sent by some Christians from England. But he had to do something with it immediately. He had no idea what to do because there was no way to bring it across land very well and there were no ships traveling around the coast. And so he said he would send him a cable in the morning. Well, he contacted a local coal merchant in the town that he knew and asked about the possibility of having it shipped overland several hundred miles in the winter. And uh, they said, no, that just isn't going to happen. But said the coal merchant, there's actually a man who lives in the capital who has five tons of coal here in town, but he's not selling it. The town council has asked him, others have asked him, he, he's unwilling to sell it. He wants to keep it for his own ships. He thinks the price is going to continue to go up, so he wants to keep this five tons of coal. And so Arthur Gook said, well, if I'll pay for the phone call, would you mind calling him? He said, look, I'm his agent here, and he won't even give it to me. He won't sell it to me. He said, well, let's just try. And so they made the call, and at first, as this man talked to this uh, man in, in the capital, he knew the man was saying no. But he, at the same time, was on the line to heaven and pleading with the Lord to change the heart of that man. And after a little bit, the man said, well, who exactly is it there that, that wants the coal? And when he was told that it was Arthur Gook, he said, well, if he sends me in a cable in the morning and says that I get the five tons of coal here, then he can have the five tons of coal there. And sure enough, those arrangements were made. Well, now, the ice fields from Greenland sometimes break up and send hundreds of ice flows, icebergs, over to the north coast of Iceland and lock it completely tight with ice all winter long. Arthur Gook hadn't seen this before, but on this particular year, sure enough, that's what happened. These ice flows came over, frost covered everything, and soon it was frigid cold there. But God had provided for the five tons. And these five tons were used not only for the Gooks, but for the other Christians who lived there. And one day, the doctor who ran the hospital came to him and said, I'd like to buy some of this coal. Well, they needed food as well, and so they sold some of the coal to the doctor. And as they were visiting, Arthur Gook explained to the doctor how God had provided in a wonderful way for the coal. And he said, you know, if the Christians had sent the coal to our city, to our port, it never would have made it because the ice flows had shut the whole north coast. Because it was sent to the capital, their harbor was still free. And so the five tons arrived there, but then the five tons in his hometown were traded for those five tons. In fact, the ship that it originally was to be sent on foundered and had to return back to Scotland to have its hull checked. And by that time, it never would have made it further. And so even though it seemed that the Christians were disappointed that they weren't able to send the coal on the first ship, 
it was the second ship that actually made it through. Well, the doctor listened to all of this with a bemused smile, and he said, of course, there's a scientific explanation for all of this. He said it has to do with mental telepathy. And obviously, as you think you were praying, you actually were sending brain waves across, and some sensitive soul in England picked up these brain waves. And that's actually how it happened. And Arthur Gook said to the doctor, you know, this coal that you bought from me isn't going to last too long. And you're going to have to buy some more. Have you thought about that? He said, you know, I'm really quite desperate. I have no idea where I'm going to get that coal. And Arthur Gook said, well, I can tell you how to get five tons. Really? Yes. Just think very hard and use your best efforts in mental telepathy and send those signals over and someone in England or somewhere else will catch up those those signals and will send you the call. Well, of course, <laughs> the doctor was flabbergasted and Dr. Gook went on to explain to this man that in actual fact it was the God of heaven who knew the ice flows would come in and shut down the northern shore and make it impossible for the coal to come in that way and had sent it in with five tons waiting for them in their hometown, moved the heart of that unbelieving man to shift the coal, exchange the coal, so that he kept the five tons in the capital, and they got the five tons delivered right to their door. And so we see these beautiful words that the Lord himself, with men, things may be impossible, but with God, all things are possible. May the Lord encourage us to renew our faith in him, when we may be struggling right now, there may be difficulties in our lives, someone who's sick, someone who's afflicted, family problems. Let's renew our confidence in God and let's pray on. Let's lay hold of him. The eyes of the Lord are running to and fro throughout the whole earth, looking for people whose heart is undivided towards him, looking for people so that he can be strong on their behalf. May God encourage you and bless you as you lay hold of him by faith and see that with God all things are possible.